Welcome to another training session of the TIA portal. In today's session, we will see how we can simulate the S7-1200 PLC using the TIA portal software and the PLC SIM software. So first of all, we will open the TIA portal software. We will create a new project in it and uh, we can give it any name. We will uh, give it a simulator. And next we will create the project. Now the project is created. Next we will click on the PLC programming, add new device. And we will select our S7-1200 PLC. We will select this CPU1214. One thing I want to mention here is that please select the CPU which is having the version above 4. So this CPU has a version of 4.2. Once the PLC is added into our project, click on this project view button. Next we will expand this PLC folder. We will go to the device configuration. And here if we click on this CPU and open its properties tab and click on this Profinet interface here you will find its Ethernet address and by default the Ethernet address is 192.168.0.1 we can change this IP address if we want but for today's project we will keep it as it is and next if we click on this IO tags here you will find the inputs and output addresses the input address is starting from i0.0 .0 and the output addresses are starting from q0.0 .0. next we will go to the program blocks and we will double click on this ob1 ob1 is the organization block number one and it is by default added into the plc program Next we will drag and drop this normal open contact. We can assign this normal open contact and the input address we will assign it I0.0. .0. Next we will insert a coil here and we will assign it Q0.0. .0. So this is our input and this is our output. Whenever this I0.0 .0 input is high it will turn on our output q0.0 .0. we can rename this input as push button pb and here we can rename this output q0.0 .0 as output next thing is we want to simulate this program so we will click on this PLC folder and click on this start simulation. It will start our PLC simulator for S7-1200 PLC. Now the PLC simulator is started which look like this and we will load the program into this simulator and we will start the CPU and click on the finish button. Now we will go online with our program and now we will try to monitor this ladder. The next thing we want to do here is that we will click on this button and it will open a complete setup for this simulator. Okay now this uh, window is open up we will click on this new project button and next we will create a new project in this plc simulator okay now our new project is created we will expand this symbol tables and we will open this symbol table number one and if i reduce the size of these windows to see the ladder logic next we have to add the symbols of this ladder logic into this simulator so to do this simply we will click on this name and we will write PB and this simulator will automatically detect 
the symbols of this program so we will click on this push button and this plc simulator software automatically detect this push button connection at i0.0 input same way we will search for this output tag and we will click here and write output and as you can see both of our tags are added into our simulator and next thing we will reduce the size of this and next thing i want to do here is that i want to turn on this push button i0.0 so to do this we will click here on this button and as you can see that this bit is now high this input is now high and it has turned on our output q0.0 and our plc simulator also shows the result and if i turn off this input i0.0 our output q0.0 also turns off so this is how we can simulate the program of the 71200 plc using the plc sim 4.0 simulator if you want to download this simulator the link is in the description box you can download this software from this link so that's all for now if you like this video do share like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials till next time take care and goodbye